Oh, welcome rugby site members, great to be back on the site. We're here at Napier Boys High School and yesterday Hutt Valley High School, first 15, played Napier Boys High School second 15. So we're going to head into the classroom and just have a bit of a look at a video review around one area of the game, the defence. So we'll just go through and give you an idea of if you are lucky enough to have video footage of your games, how powerful a weapon they can be to growing your team. So we'll go through a review of the defensive aspects of the game, get as much input as we can from the players, and then we'll head out onto the field and we'll do a couple of activities which will grow areas of our defense which we've identified need work on. We'll just look to do a quick video review of an aspect of the game yesterday that, that's an area that that we can always get better on and we'll focus on our defence from yesterday. We could look at any area of the game but I think that's one that we're putting the most emphasis on to get right. One thing, if we're going to get any value out of this session, give something of yourself so don't sit back and, uh, and rely on someone else to put a suggestion forward or speak up if, um, if we're going to get better and use the power of video and a debrief properly to move on then, uh, then we need everyone's input. Eh? So are you all up for that? And the other thing too that I think is really important is that um, this can't be one-way communication. This can't just be me telling you what I think. We we got to work this uh, work this through together to get real value out of it. <laughs> Defense, talk to me about what you guys are looking for in your de what's critical to your defense working well. Staying connected with each other and uh, just letting each other know uh, where you are. Let's just pull this apart a little bit more. What about our comms? What's really important about our comms and D? Letting everyone know who you got. Who you got. How, how do you identify the, the man in the opposition or, or the woman in the opposition team that you're responsible for? Pointing them out. Pointing them out? Yep. So are you identifying them on their position in their, in their set up and attack or are you identifying them because they got red hair or yellow boots or what? How are you identifying them? Both. Both? Okay. It's really important and um, tell you from experience, it, it, as of yesterday, it's really important that the clearer you get on this, the, the, the better your defence will work. So, right up, comms, who you've got? Uh, any, uh, any other areas of comms in our, in our defensive system? Mismatches. Mismatches? Yeah, cool. Comms, um, mismatches. If there's some big boys marked up against some steppers, that sort of thing, yeah, that's good. Good input. Any other area of comms that, that you think will help our D? So you're identifying who you've got, you're identifying uh, who you're responsible for, what else can you do with your voice? Kind of put them off. Yeah, voice is a weapon in defence. Voice is not just important, voice is a weapon. And, and if we're going to use it as a weapon really effectively, then um, yes, it's really important that we identify who we've got. That's a really important concept. As soon as we've done that, we also need to bring our voice up with us when the line comes up. Why do you think that's important, man? What arrives before you do? Sound. Sound. Yeah, yeah. No trick questions. That's it. Sound. If you can bring a wall of noise with you, not just a wall of organisation and a wall of speed, what will the opposition think? They'll think you're closer or further away? Closer. They'll, they'll think you're closer than you are. And that's, that's the importance of... Um, like, yes, voice is critical here, who you've got, but even more important, voice is a weapon in that if you bring a wall of noise up with you, up, 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 that wall of noise is going to arrive before you do. And, and what do you reckon the opposition will do? Get a little disturbed or...? Yeah, you'll panic them into errors. And I promise you, they will drop more ball, they'll make more handling errors than they would if you came up silently. We'll have a look at that out there on the field and we'll have a real look at the concept of using your voice as a weapon. The wall of noise will arrive before you and the opposition will think that you're closer than you are. So they'll drop more ball, they'll make more handling errors, the passes will be more inaccurate and you'll have to make less tackles. It's a pretty good outcome, eh? Yeah, so that's the importance. Like I can't reinforce how much um, how important your comms are. I don't know if you saw any of our game before yours yesterday, but we were woeful here. Really, really poor. We had a, a review like this last night in exactly the same situation, and man, we got to pick that up massively before our game on Saturday. If you haven't got this right, if you, if you aren't clear on who you've got, so if you're, I've got second man, I've got second man, I've got second man, what does that enable our, the defender outside you and the defender inside you to do? 
Uh, you know that they've got second man you can mark up on another player. Yep. And that, that's one of the big things about this defence here. Voices of Weaver. This concept here. Trust. And you guys would be, um, you'll be talking all the time about one man, one job, eh? Rugby's a numbers game of... of, of if we've got a ball carrier, generally we'll put one defender on him. And if we have to put more than that on him, then, uh, then we're down somewhere in that numbers game. So this is a big element of defence as well. You've got to trust your brother that he's got that, that person under control. Then you can do what? What can you do when you trust your brother that that guy's under control? Yeah, you can look after your own man. And as soon as you guys all start doing that and being really clear about who you've got, you make your statement. And yeah, there's a little bit of an element of, yeah, I've got you, I've got second man, you, I've got second man. I'm not telling him that I've got him. I'm telling my brothers that he's under control. And that's, that's how important comms is, indeed. What do you notice when things...